So when we're addressing the lats, I find it's sometimes easier just to take the ball off the stick. So put the other stick out of the way. We're gonna use one ball. And so when you get into position on this one, you wanna lay on your stomach and you wanna put the ball kind of underneath your armpit towards the back of your boob a little bit. We don't wanna be right on the boob. That's not comfortable and that's not area you wanna be, but on the back rib, right behind that breast meat. And, and if you're a guy that still is in the same area, it's pretty much right below the armpit. And then what we want is this arm to be relaxed in a comfortable position. And then we're going to use this as a slight head support so we can stay relaxed here. I used to teach it where I would tell you to use this hand to relax, but if you're using your hand to support your head, you're not fully relaxing that arm into the tension that you're putting into it. So I find that having a small head support or something is, is very useful because this hand is gonna be working. You can't use this to hold your head either. And I certainly never want your hand holding this because your neck will get tired. So as you pick your head support, make sure that it leaves you with a nice neutral neck. I wouldn't wanna pick a head support that would put me up like this. So from here, we're gonna use this hand, use this knee and foot, and we're gonna push onto that muscle area right underneath the armpit, and it hurts, it doesn't feel good, guys. So really focus on breathing that shoulder away from your ear, bringing that arm down low enough that you can truly relax the shoulder away from the ear. It does, you get no extra credit points for how high your arm goes. We just want it to be comfortable in the beginning as we start. So as you're pushing through that hand, as you're pushing through that front foot and knee a little bit, you're gonna grind onto that ball just a little bit. And now we're gonna stop. We don't wanna keep grinding on it. And now I'm just gonna straighten out the arm and then slide the arm back down. I'm gonna straighten out the arm just a little bit and then I'm gonna bring the arm back to the, to the bed position. And then from here, I'm gonna reposition and go slightly into a different place, imagining my shoulder blades opening and smiling as my shoulders pull away from my ears, pushing out of my hand and my foot to keep my neck in a nice neutral position as I work into another area of release in the front of that, that chest and pec area. And just imagine that you're trying to release and lengthen those muscles that you're, you're resting and, and pushing on. So don't hold tension as you're trying to move that arm. Rather, imagine lengthening your elbow away from your shoulder and then relaxing the elbow by reaching it away to bend it. And then releasing by straightening the elbow and then reaching the elbow away from the ball by bending it. And so now let's go ahead and do the other side. I just wanna show you at a different angle so that you can see how this arm moves when you're on it, even though you're not going to keep as good of a view of the ball this time. But as the saying is last time, we just kick out the opposite leg so we have a little leverage, push onto it with that arm that's on the opposite side, and then try and feel the position where that shoulder can stay away from the ear and you can relax into that muscle that's being pushed on. Same thing, the arm will slide up by lengthening the elbow away from the shoulder. You wanna really keep the shoulder anchored away from the, the ear through this entire slide action. And as you're sliding, make sure that you're concentrating on pushing away from the ground, reaching the kneecap of that bed leg away from your groin. Don't just hold tension around what you're doing. Make sure you're kind of pushing the energy away from that other side. Now, something I said on the last time about reaching the elbow as you lengthen it, then we want to reach the elbow towards, away from you, towards the side as we bend it back down. So right now I'm reaching my elbow to the wall above me, and now I'm going to reach my elbow towards the wall in front of me that way. And so we're not holding tension like this, trying to move around. We're actually trying to lengthen that muscle as we're doing a slight massage on it. And then go ahead and come back to the center, reposition. And that's the, the, front, the front technique to getting to that lat area. Now we're gonna go through the side. And so for this one, you're gonna need a couple more blocks. So I've got my hand over here. Um, 
with this one, you can do it without a lot of blocks, but it's just a lot more painful. So I, I will say that uh, another useful tool for this one would be a lacrosse ball if you happen to have one, but the Mighty Roller is pretty effective, especially in a bed. But as we get into position, what we want is to roll backwards until we find the area. So if I were to draw a line to the back of my shoulder and then take two inches down from that, so it's pretty much where my arm and my armpit meet, that's right where I want the ball. And then so as we go back onto that ball, we want it to find that spot and then support it with whatever head position that we need. Now, sometimes that puts us into this little bit of a contortion and so that's why a smaller ball or the bed kind of takes some of this arch out. But you can use a block on your hip. It's a magic spot to get onto it. But you can use that, that block on your hip to take a little bit of the pressure off the ball and to let you focus on what you're doing, right? So I'm gonna show it to, I'm gonna go through this version without this. I don't think it's absolutely necessary, but I just wanted you to be able to see that there is a way to take a little bit of the pressure off of it. When we're working this area of release, it's really important that we're pulling the shoulder down away from the ear and away from the elbow reach. So the elbow is trying to go that way, the shoulder is trying to go backwards. And now what we're gonna do is just let that hand fall through and reach through the full range of motion. So we're gonna let that wrist fall backwards and then we're gonna push that wrist towards the floor on the other side. Now, it's a little bit tighter for me as I go down into this range and, and yes, full range of motion is floor to floor, but I think when you get on there, you'll find that there are some places like if I go slightly lower with it where I know it's much more tender, I may not be, be able to get quite as far. And so don't feel that you've got to go floor to floor. What the key is, is that you're really trying to feel where does the hinge at the ball feel like it's trying to separate from the arm. So shoulder separating from the arm as you work through those positions and just know the goal is the goal, but it's not where you have to go. And so the whole time we're reaching that elbow towards the front wall as we're pulling the shoulder back away from it. So that is a good way to get after your lats and to really uh, loosen up some of the things that hold our shoulder into impinged areas or positions that aren't very friendly to our neck and our, our success in life. Really use all those shoulder videos together because that's how they work best.